For most women, labor begins with contractions. These contractions gradually open the cervix until it reaches about 10 centimeters, allowing the baby to move down into the birth canal. As the cervix starts to dilate, the mucus plug that seals the cervical opening is released and passes through the vagina. This can happen days or even weeks before labor truly begins. You may also feel increased pelvic pressure or notice fluid loss. Despite common beliefs, only about 15 to 20% of women experience their water breaking before labor starts. As labor progresses, contractions become more regular, closer together, and last between 60 and 90 seconds. For a first pregnancy, the time from active labor to full dilation typically lasts 8 to 12 hours. During later pregnancies, this stage tends to be much faster, often around 5 hours. If you feel an urge to push but the cervix is not fully dilated yet, you will be asked to wait. Pushing too early can cause the cervix to swell, slowing down the entire process. Instead, you'll be guided to breathe or gently blow through the contractions to resist the urge. Once the cervix reaches full dilation, the baby moves deeper into the birth canal, approaching the vaginal opening. This is when the real pushing begins. The sensation often feels similar to the need to have a bowel movement. The pushing phase usually lasts around an hour. At some moments, you may be asked to push more gently or even stop pushing altogether. Slowing down allows the vaginal tissues to stretch, helping reduce the risk of tearing. After the baby's head emerges, the body naturally rotates so the shoulders can pass through one by one. The rest of the baby usually slips out quickly after the first shoulder is delivered. The umbilical cord is then clamped and cut. After your baby is born, you will likely feel a wave of relief. You may hold your baby in your arms or on your chest, a moment worth cherishing. But the process isn't quite over. You will continue to feel light, milder contractions. These help move the placenta into the birth canal. You'll be asked to give one more gentle push to deliver it. The placenta usually detaches from the uterus within about 20 minutes. In many hospitals, oxytocin is given to help the uterus contract and expel the placenta safely. Your doctor will examine the placenta to ensure it is complete. Any remaining fragments must be removed to prevent infection or heavy bleeding. Your doctor will also check for tears in the vaginal area to determine whether stitches are needed. If you did not have anesthesia during birth, a small injection of local anesthetic will be given before stitching. These stitches generally dissolve on their own within six weeks. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to learn how breastfeeding works or what to expect during a cesarean delivery, feel free to watch my other videos. More content coming soon.